Thank you for the opportunity to talk about this important legislation. And before we get started, I do want to thank uh, the chair of the subcommittee, Ms. Napolitano, the ranking member, uh, Mr. Rouser from North Carolina, Chairman DeFazio, and ranking member Sam Graves as well. And I do want to thank uh, some of the other partners from Louisiana we worked with, Congressman Steve Scalise, uh, former Congressman Cedric Richmond, and, uh, and Congressman Troy Carter that all worked with us on this important legislation. Uh, Madam, Madam Speaker, Lake Pontchartrain is one of the largest saltwater lakes in the United States. Uh, it is incredibly productive. It's a productive ecosystem. There's much fishing and shrimping and crabbing and oysters that are produced there. And as a matter of fact, since 1997, over 40 million pounds of oysters, excuse me, of blue crabs have been produced almost annually. Now, the secret is, Madam Speaker, if you can keep this between the two of us, is that much of that is actually headed to Maryland restaurants to improve Maryland crab cakes. That's right, that's right. Um, just don't tell anybody. Uh, they also put spice on the outside of the shells, so it's really confusing what they do. The meat's on the inside, but in any case, <laughs> Madam Speaker, uh, this is a huge watershed. It's about a 10,000 square mile watershed that comprises 16 parishes and four Mississippi counties into this lake. But more importantly, and why, why there is a federal nexus here, is that um, since 1937, the first time that they opened the nearly 7,000 acre Bonacari spillway to shift water from, from the Mississippi River into Lake Pontchartrain and ultimately to the Gulf of Mexico as a pressure, emergency pressure relief valve. Because you see, Madam Speaker, the Mississippi River drains 32 states and two Canadian provinces. This is one of the largest watersheds in the world and the Mississippi River is the largest watershed in the United States. And so when, when the water hits a certain level, again, since 1937, uh, they, they, they began opening this. It's been opened an average of once every 10 years to send huge flows, uh, hundreds of thousands of cubic feet of water per second out of the Mississippi River into the Bonacari Spillway and into Lake Pontchartrain. It shifts from a, a, a salt or a brackish lake into a freshwater lake because of this huge surge. So as a result of the floodwaters coming from Canada and all over the United States, they come and, and they impact the ecosystem of this lake. So what this legislation does is it builds upon some of the efforts for ecological restoration. I want to thank the great work of Carlton Dufer Show, Christy Trail, and others that have done an amazing job in, in working to restore the ecological function of, uh, of Lake Pontchartrain. I again want to thank all of the, the co-sponsors and folks that have helped us to work on this legislation. It did pass unanimously last Congress, and I want to remind everybody here that there is a huge federal nexus on this legislation. I urge adoption and yield back. 